Part one complete. Now we move on to the 351. Not to Third Avenue, but to Bedford Woods. Oh yeah, we're going to Bedford Woods. So let's overview the, the concept of the 351. So you got this Third Avenue bus stop. It says just to AOIs, but uh, you also got a North Burlington. So you got Market Cafe right there. You got Wegmans, some shady stores right there. Um, not too big, wide bipolar stores, but at least you get some good stores. You got Okie Pokey, I think. And then a bakery. Cool. So this is what you get when you come to Third Avenue. I don't even know what to call it because there's no name for this place. So I'm just gonna say Third Avenue because it is Third Avenue. But if we want to make our way over here, well, even got more over there. Uh, what means we prefer a sponsorship yes they do sponsor so yeah so if you want to find yourself the 351 michael gold and bob williams it's a furniture shop you can buy furniture i cannot say that that is too hard the shade store There's also a furniture store. I'm just looking inside. <sighs> Over, oh, Ovment. Ovment, no. Movement Workshop, okay. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, it's called Movement Workshop. Okay. Um, anything else? Like, you got Nino Italian as a restaurant. 20 Qs. Redstone. That must be a luxury restaurant. LOL. And you got Tony. I don't know what to say to say. They're just like in their fancy funds. It's like it's hard to read what it says. Archer Hotel. Okay. So you got those. And then you got. Boston Interiors, Dover, and yes, some other stores over there. But to board the 351 Bedford Woods, you would board right there. And they did add a stop, so don't worry. Uh, it's not like it's um, confusing or anything. But why is there a school bus? Oh my goodness. Bus stop is right here. That is the bus stop right there. Saying Bedford Woods Drive. Let's go. We're going to Bedford Woods. So I believe when you ride at 351, you are allowed to stay on the bus. I hope I got this correct because I'm riding this in uh, during the afternoon, which means. When it goes to Bedford Woods, it serves uh, EMD Serrano. I don't know if I say it correct, but yeah, that's where it goes to. And I believe towards uh, Third Avenue, it does not. But it serves more stops than Bedford Woods. So, uh, yeah. But I believe it says on the on the map, you you can stay on the bus. If you're going to the EMD Serrano, but I don't know, that's really accurate, but hopefully, yes. Alrighty, it's almost 3 05 p.m., and I got nothing else to do. So, the trip 
I'm taking this in 12 minutes. That is actually the first trip in the PM. These are the stops that serves Bedford Woods via END Serono. So it put me at 3.30 and then once I headed to Bedford Woods Drive at building 174, the trip to get back is in 25 minutes. 3.31 and I arrive at 3.49. And these are the stops that serves to I okay. To Third Avenue. You got Bedford Woods, 3 Oak Park Drive, 7 Oak Park Drive, 10 Oak Park Drive, Crosby Drive at Middlesex Turnpike, Crosby Drive, another Crosby Drive, 4 Crosby Drive, M I T R E uh fuck Corp Inner Road, 209 Burlington Road, Network Drive, 2 to 4 4th Avenue, 53 Third Avenue, and then Turnpike. I don't know how this is gonna work. I think they had to do his face straight down process to do um third avenue the Millsex turnpike um but i'll have to see i'm going to check it out um, really quick um let's see i think they oh i think they had to loop yeah they might have to loop so i think i might stop at 53 third avenue if that's the case because i'm not gonna be but I could, I could just literally come over here in like in two minutes if that's the case but yeah, that's where we're going for. To 351 uh, Bedford Woods. And for the bus that I'm taking, it's 1942. This is actually the bus that is coming right its way. And then you got the second one, which is 3117. So, okay. Alrighty. Middle system, everybody. See? Accurate information. Still doesn't show. Oh my goodness. Second Avenue. Can we preview that? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Um, 3rd Avenue. Nope. Not even seeing stuff. Okay, well. Yeah, 1942. Here we go. At 3rd Avenue. Very silent. Not much to do. On a Wednesday. No school day. Because it's a Wednesday. And, um. It's a no school day. So. Lucky enough that I'm doing this today. Oh yeah, yeah. Hopefully I can stay on. And I also think the 351 is not even gonna get where it ship. As some people might say, um, it might not get ridership. But it all depends if we can get some riders throughout uh the parts of Bedford Woods. If not, I guess, I guess, uh, I guess I'll review it to you guys. Alrighty, I'm gonna cut this off and, uh, we'll catch you guys on when the bus will immediately arrive. Alrighty, so it's about 3.11-ish. And so far, the bus is not showing up yet. And, um, maybe if I'm... Feeling lucky. Maybe I might do a tour of Burlington Mall. Because in the 350 video, you can see that the mall is was under construction and it was renovating for a new setup. So I'm gonna take a look what's in progress, what's um what's already finished. Maybe Sunday, but if I don't feel like it, maybe I might just do it within like next week or so. Because on Friday, uh, September, actually no, Friday, October 1st, sorry, Friday, September 1st, I had to film the 439. Um, so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to ride the first trip out of Wonderland which comes at 525 and then to get back I'm just gonna ask the operator if I can stay on the bus and go back to Central Square because honestly if I'm being totally honest here I'm just taking the 441 to 442 to Wonderland because that's what I usually do from Central Square to Wonderland it's almost the same thing as the 439 so there's no point in doing it um 
maybe if I'm also, uh, maybe if I have time, maybe I can do the, the 426 at Haymarket once again. At 6.45 at night time. Brilliant time. Uh, but the range of this plan is the 351 ride all the way. And then we're gonna take the 350 in North Burlington, finish up part two. And then once we arrive at Burlington, we're gonna take the 354 towards State Street. And then we're gonna walk to get access to the 111, get off from there and take the victory home. Or maybe go to the Wonderland bus on the 116 and the 117, or maybe take the 92. I don't know. Or maybe if I'm actually um, if I'm actually lucky, really lucky enough for today, maybe I could take the three, we could take the red line to Park Street and the green line to Riverside and the 558. And then I don't want to ride a 558. So maybe not. Um, maybe if I will, maybe I won't. But then again, but then again, if I arrive, what, Harvard, uh, let's say what, um, if I arrive AOA like 4.40 and I take the train, maybe there's a possible chance. At the same time, there's not a possible chance I can do 350, uh, the 5.54. I know I've already filmed it really like a bunch of times, but um, just screw it, okay? At this point, I've already finished up a bunch of routes. I don't want to go home early. And uh, I think it's a good idea to do the 354. Even though it's kind of shit at this point, but whatever or maybe maybe just maybe i can trust probably just go to the mall after the 351 and then just start from there but i don't know i don't want to do it on a on a wednesday i want to do it on like a saturday or on a sunday because that's you know you get more of that shoppers because you know they don't have school students don't have school and they can you know shop for things because that's what they usually do they go to malls they go to shop for things and yeah, that's what you authentically would do. Eh, 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 eh. But I'll have to decide. If not, I guess we're gonna do the D fifty four. The thing is though is that I hope I don't get a hybrid. If I get a hybrid on like the episode I did on season six, I believe, uh, I'm gonna cry. Because that's just that's just unfair. I want a D four L F. Because the D fifty four is also considered Bellsway. So it will run on D4LS, but it is also run by Charlestown, so it also will run on hybrid, so that's kind of sad. So I hope I get a D4LF. If not, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry my ass out until I get a D4LF. <sighs> Wish me meal, fellas. But I'm going to wait for D4LF to arrive, and we're going to ride it all the way to Beverwoods and then back to 3rd Avenue. Or in this case, the bus stop. So I checked out on their website to see how much... Uh, this actually costs, and it says about four dollars and twenty-five cents, and I'm like, what? How? How could this be? Because this is the same as Soul Forty-Five Fifty-Eight. It says four dollars and twenty-five cents, or they might as well just change it. Um, and it goes for four twenty-six and other routes that don't uh, serve the bridges. They say four dollars twenty-five cents. So I hope, I hope the ride is a dollar and seventy cents. If I had to pay four dollars at this point, it's just. Uh, it's just petty enough that they don't even change the fare because it's not serving AOI anymore. It's going to Bedford Woods and Third Avenue, which is almost, almost a third. It's a local route, so I hope it's a local route. If this is becoming a um, if this is um, an express route somehow, I'm gonna cry because it's not. It's it's just a local route. But again, um. They might have forgot. They might have forgot. I don't know. Sometimes they forgot to do for some other routes. If that's the case, then um, there you go. Here he comes. I wonder what the operator is going to think about me. Hey, what's up? You're the first one I ever picked up. Huh? I said you're the first one I ever picked up over here. Really? Yeah. Oh, is this, is, this, is this room busy? 
No, not at all. Where are you, where are you trying to go? Oh, I'm just recording this food. Huh? I'm just recording this food. Oh, okay. It's okay if I can film in the front or no? Hmm? It's okay if I can film in the front? Yeah. Really? Thanks. I don't um film in the front because um I don't want to disrespect the operator, so I just film in the back with the seat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I don't really ask a lot. What do you do? Huh? Well, you just see how the route is? Yeah. Because it, it used to go to AOI too. At this point, I'm just lying about everything I said in this video. So, everything I said here is not true. So, this is all inaccurate. So, please do not believe anything I said in this video. I don't know why I just said this for. I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah, you're young though. How old are you? Fifteen. Huh? Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Then you get a job like this? Yep. Oh shit. How'd you get a job so young? My mom helped me in doing this. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Um, is it possible that you can ride the same bus back? Huh? Is it possible that you can ride the same bus back? Like, you could drive the bus back? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Because, um, I was gonna, I had, I did this another time. Um, I think it was on, um, I can't remember. Um, I think it was a route out of Quincy. And, um, I just went back on the bus, um, to Quincy. Because I rode it all the way to East Wayman and then I rode it back to Quincy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But I, I had to exit out of the bus and then I went into the store and then I had to go back and in the bus. Sometimes I don't, I don't do that. Yeah. So you're not in school? You're not in high school? Yeah. Well, so you're part of the high school or no? Yeah. Well, your mom works at the team? No, she doesn't. Oh. What high school you go to? Huh? What high school? I go to Chelsea High. Oh, Chelsea High? Yeah. You live in Chelsea? Yeah. Chelsea, they have, there's some nice areas, like Admiral's Hill, right? Yeah. Got Admiral's Hill, uh, they got that park as well. Beacon Street? Yeah. That's a nice area. They had a festival, I believe, last Saturday. Huh? They had a festival last Saturday. What's that? They had a festival. Oh, festival? Oh. Yeah. I wonder if I, I was trying to buy a condo in on Beacon Street. Oh. But now they're so expensive. They used to be like... They used to go for like 200 for one bedroom. Yeah. So that, that 200 now is probably like 300. Wow. Because it's right on the water. That's crazy. Because the place that I wanted to buy it was like you can see from the balcony, you can see the ocean, you can see the city of Boston. Yeah. That would be cool. That area is really nice. Do you ever um drive other routes? Huh? Do you ever drive other routes? Yeah, I do. What routes do you we drive? Pick, we pick every four months. Huh? We pick every four months. Oh, which ones do you pick? I I go for uh, I go for the days off. The days off? I got Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday off. Oh. So whatever whatever fits, whatever I can get Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday off. Because my girl, she works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh. So we take we take Thursdays we we take Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday off. Yeah. Ah. Now I'm working overtime. Ah. So what I do on Thursdays, I work half a day. I work because most of the work we got a two-hour break. Oh. So what I do, I try to work in the morning. I go in around. Six, I like to go around six in the morning. That way I don't have to wake up too early. I don't mess her up because she's off on Thursdays. And then I wake up at uh, six. I wake up at five. So I'm working tomorrow, like I'm working from, from 6.22 to uh, to 12.15. Wow. It's a good six hour overtime, you know? Uh. And then what I do on Friday is my day off. On Friday I get out at four, because I work a little earlier. I start early, but I get out earlier. So I work like three hours extra. Because uh. I don't like, you know what sucks? Sometimes when I, when I finish, I finish work at Harvard. So I gotta take a bus back to out of the station oh so, yeah. if I, so if i work overtime i get to keep my bus so it's like i'm getting paid that 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 time i'm wasting my time trying to get back to sullivan i'm not getting paid for that oh so i'm working like you know two three hours extra 
and then I get to drive the bus back to the station, and then I go home. Oh. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So I put in like three hours there, so I get like six to nine hours of overtime. It's good. It's like 50, I get like 55 bucks an hour. Wow. That's impressive. So my check comes out to like 2200 good for me. You know, the taxes and everything. I got it. Yeah. I pay. I pay my car. I pay. I have a house. I got two my credit car. card bills. Yikes. So I got a lot of bills, brother. <laughs> my father works a lot too. Huh? My father works a lot too. Yeah. Yeah. I believe yeah. he he works at a pizzeria. Huh? He works at a pizzeria. A pizzeria? Yeah. But he's but he's doing. I, I believe he's like a chef. He's doing um, the pizzas and all Who's that. that. Huh? Who's that? What? Your brother or your dad? My father. Who? My father. Oh, your father? Yeah. He works from uh, 9 a.m. to uh, 8 p.m. And he only has one day off. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, it's on a Sunday, so... Anytime we, he has he a day off... To, he should try to get his license to drive a bus or a truck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's the that's way to go. Like this job is good, like, but it takes years. Like, I've been here eight years, but if you get this job, in the beginning it sucks because you gotta work like nights and weekends and shit like that, you know? Yikes. And then it takes like, it took me about five years to get a Saturday, Sunday off. Wow. Uh, it could take even more. So you gotta work a lot to get um, where you. Yeah, like you. when I first started, oh. I worked two and a half years part time. I worked like 20, they only give you 30 hours. Wow. So you get a five hour break, so you feel like you're here all fucking day. Oh. Uh -huh. From seven to nine, and then you get five hours off, and then you go back at four in the afternoon till six, you know? Yeah. So they're using you for your rush hours. But what happens is, once, you know, once, once people here retire every year. Wow. Because after 25 years, 23 years, some of the guys think of you can retire. So every year, if somebody reaches that 23 or 25 years, they retire, you know? Yeah. And then, and then when they need people, they tell you, okay, you've been part-time for two years and a half, okay, you're ready for full-time, you got to accept it, you got to sign the paper. And then when you work full-time, you're at the bottom. So when we pick every four or three months, Everybody, every, everybody gets a day to, to pick, you know what I'm saying? Oh. So when it's time for you to pick, you'll get the worst of the worst, you know, the leftovers, you know. Okay. So the higher, the more years you got, the higher you will be. Oh. Have you ever drove the 111? Huh? Have you ever drove the 111? No, no. Because this is another garage. That's uh, that's, it's, it's Charlestown, yeah. It's Charlestown, yeah, we're vetted, so we're, we're never, we never drive that. Oh. Have you heard of Albany? Or Albany? I don't Albany, know what yeah. yeah. Yeah, they have um, the d 4 LS there. Huh? They have the d 4 LS there. Charlestown used to have them, but... Um, yeah, but they get... They had, they, had they, the, they had these hybrids now. Yeah, but Albany, they... It's a horrible garage. Really? It's too small. I know. I so if they, you go work there, it's like... Imagine, like... You'll never move up. Wow. You gotta wait for people to retire in that garage for you to fucking move up. You'll never get a weekend up. My friend's been working there for five years in Lynn garage and he and he still has he still can't get Sunday Monday. Oh. And he has five years in. Wow. Do you like um, the new hybrids? No, this this is a this is this a hybrid? No. No? They're all the same shit. Right? Yeah. They're the same as the um the ones from Cabot. Yeah, they're all the same. Yeah. I used to drive the First time working, I used to drive the old bus. Oh. You had to climb stairs just to get up to the bus. The and RTS, is, right? Huh? The RTS? The RTS, yeah. Yeah, those retired in 2017, I believe, right? Yeah, I, I drove those for a long time. Yeah. Every morning, I had it. When you're part time, that's all you got was RTS. Ah. And then we went with the flyers. And then they retired the flyers. I don't know what happened to the flyers. They got rid of them. Yeah. And they got these buses now. Yeah, we barely pick anybody here. Yeah. The Wayland is like always so busy. Nobody works here. That's why. These people in the factories, 
they're all working from home. few trips to do, right? Yeah. How many trips you got for uh, this trip? I got trip? till 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock? Yeah. Oh. I work, uh, I work a 12-hour shift. Wow. I work, I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm off Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Ah. You gotta work like, you work 10 hours, but you get to a two-hour break. So today I went to the gym. I've been working out. I say, shit. I eat my lunch and then I go. And then I come back to work. Okay, I come I finish my shift. I get home at 7:30, 7:40. Uh, I got a gym in my garage. That's cool. I, I work out in my gym. I, I do cardio. What's a cardio? Huh? What's a cardio? Cardio? Yeah. You don't know what cardio is? No. Nope. Not a rubber. Oh. I never done those. Huh? I never done that before. No. No. You have never heard of cardio before? <laughs> nope. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, because I'm doing um, archery in my gym class for uh, high school right now. But cardio is when you do uh, running. Uh, I used cardio to do elastic. I'm doing um, archery in my gym class. Oh, in the gym? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, but I'm, I'm kind of bad at it because of my aim. But. <laughs> I think, right. I think I'm improving somehow. You'll get it. But um, these teachers would do like some kind of activity every like two weeks. Yeah. So I believe uh, once it's Monday again, they're going to switch up to uh, new activities. So And they let us choose which activity we get to go for. So I played basketball at Bunker Hill. Bunker Hill? College, yeah. And we played, we used to have to practice at, at Chelsea High School. We had no basketball gym uh. at Bunker Hill. So our, our home games were at Chelsea High. Uh. That's a big school, Chelsea High. It's nice. Yeah. It is also kind of confusing. It's a lot of gangs though, huh? They, yeah. Little gangsters and shit. Though. Yeah. They think they're tough. <laughs> Why do you got a basketball hoop? Yeah, there's a kid that comes and plays basketball. So I see him. Uh oh. I have never been here. So that's probably why. Nah, I, do. I go around here. This is where you start um, 3rd Avenue, right? Yeah. Third Avenue. Third Avenue. Third Avenue. Third Avenue. Third Avenue. I don't know that hotel. This is called Bedford Woods. Bedford Woods Drive, yeah. Does it play the door announcement? Huh? Does it play the door announcement? Like when you open the doors? It no, plays... it, it knows, it knows, uh, it knows the streets. No, like when you open the doors, you'll play like some kind of announcement, like root, uh, something, something. Oh yeah, I'll tell you what root it is. Uh. Yeah, can I, um... I got to play right here, though. Yep. That's outside. Late 0 0.8. Bedford Woods Drive at moving 174. Good. Third Avenue has more stops, right? Huh? This portion has more stops, right? Yeah, yeah. I gotta go back. I gotta go to another factory. Now. You gotta go more stuff than now. Oak Park Drive. I gotta go to, uh, this is, uh, Bedford Woods. Now I gotta go, I gotta go to Oak Park Drive. I don't know. Oak Park Drive. Bedford Woods Drive. Bedford Woods Drive. Bedford Woods Drive. So much construction. Go too fast. There's so much construction. And they're doing um, signal work for the red line tomorrow. Oh no, Saturday actually. Oh, the red line? Yeah, they're doing um, track yeah, and signal the, work. The rail, right? The train the rail? Yeah. Awesome. I know. Um, it was the during rush hour too, right? Uh, 
I looked at the news last night. I found out myself. I didn't know. I think we're starting rush hour too. Wow. That sucks. Always, something's always gonna happen, you know? Yeah. It can happen unexpectedly. I was riding the green line um a few days ago and um it said it was taken out of service because it had a mechanical issue. And we were um getting close to Riverside, so I had to get off at the what is it, New oh, Century. And I had to wait for another train to get um me to Riverside. Cause I was trying to catch the um the five fifty eight. Yeah. And um it was like five minutes before um, it left, so I had to run to get the bus, and I did call the bus. So, um, cause yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. Like, you know, even when you drive, it sucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, I come from the Do It. I live in the Do It. I gotta drive every morning, 45 minutes, traffic and whatever. You know. I realize some operators are like fast and some operators are like slow. Some bus yeah. operators are like fast. Oh yeah. And yeah. slow. But you gotta drive slow here because it's a 10 miles per hour here. Uh, you can't go too fast because this is a company, you know? Yeah. I got yelled at because I was going fast. Oh. I was going like 30. 30 miles? So I, I keep it. I don't want to get myself in trouble. So. Sometimes they go really fast, but they don't somehow get in trouble. Oh yeah, but it's not good to go too fast because then when you get into an accident, the first thing they do is look at your speed. Yeah. So you know, if you're going over the speed limit, they try to get you with that. Yeah. I'm glad in no hurry. I rode on the 558 and then the operator was like really fast, but it's not too fast. Oh. Um, but he was obeying all the traffic laws still. Oh, he was? Yeah. He was good? Yeah. But he was um pushing the brakes really quickly at some points. Oh, he wasn't going with the brakes and stuff? Yeah. I mean, I, I like the Route 558 because it, you start off on the highway and then you go up uh, as a regular route on the streets. I'm doing overtime in the car. I'm doing, I drive from Adelaide to Burlington Mall. Burlington. Oh no, my bad. I'm doing the 69 route from Harvard to Holiac Gate. Beach I got a dentist appointment at 2. That's why it works out for me. I have to drive all the way from me to it. Uh, have you got your vaccine yet? Huh? Have you got your vaccine yet? Have you got your vaccine yet? Oh yeah. No, I, I was like, you know, the first. Uh, I want to just get it over with, you know? I believe in science. So I believe I believed in the shot, you know. But we worked for a little bit, and then now we gotta wear masks again, which sucks. Yeah. I, I, went, I was one time we, we were almost about to take our masks off. Oh. Wow. Got my shot. Oh, I even had COVID. Really? I got COVID. Really? And I had the two shots. Oh, I got two of mine already. Huh? I got my shots already. You took a little bit, right? Cause you're young. Yeah. Oh, shit, I missed all my blood. Wait, what? No, I mean, oh no, I did. I went for it. <laughs> no, we just did it. Uh, I was oh. Drive at what do you want to do when you grow up? Huh? What are you gonna do when you grow up? I was thinking about being a mechanic, but. I'm not too sure yet. Why not? Huh? It's good. Eh. I don't know about. Own shop. Yeah. There's, there's a good school, Newbury College. Really? Newbury College? I have never heard of it. It's right here in Boston. Oh. They have a mechanical school. But why didn't you go to a. Uh, why didn't you go to a shop? Huh? Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, I swore a couple times. <laughs> Huh? I'm just recording the route, that's it. Huh? I'm just recording the route, basically. Uh, I just do this if um if the operators give me permission to. Yeah, but you're gonna who are you gonna give it to? Huh? Who are you gonna give it to? Oh no, I just do it for YouTube. Oh. Yeah, but I swore a lot. Huh? I was swearing. 
I mean, my channel is a lot of swearing too. Huh? I, I uploaded a video called, um, there was a fight on the 16 bus, and there was a lot of swearing on that one too. There was also sometimes there's like uh, traffic troubles. So. So it was really fine. As long as I get the route um, done and upload to YouTube, it'll be fine. You don't edit the videos? I do actually. So edit all that stuff? Too. Yeah. Sometimes I can cut, uh, cut things out and all that. And sometimes I have to export like long videos too, like the 62 and the 76. That's too far. Yeah. This one is. This one's uh, a little bit short. But going all the way to Bedford is too much. by next year we can uh, get some more riders maybe when this pandemic's I over so. I think if people work from home I'd rather work from home I mean you're gonna see more companies now work, letting people work from home yeah do you think um this route was a good idea to bring it back or no yeah it was Really? I need to get paid, man. What do you want? We want to take it over I mean, yeah, but I mean, there's like no more riders. I mean, hey, you're gonna pay me. I'm wasting. I'm here. I'm doing my job. So. That's true, but I mean, um, the MBT focus on like more ridership. Because on the 558, you get a lot of riders to downtown, but now it just goes to uh, Newton yeah, Corner. But that, that's that's the problem with, that's the other stations, so they yeah. gotta deal with that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you yeah. always have to have somebody available. You can't just, you can't just not have anything running because then if you're not marketable, yeah. you gotta market, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, people gotta know we're out here, we're in the work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, some trips, some trips were actually canceled. Huh? Some trips were actually canceled. Where? Um, there are different areas like Charlestown and Bennett and all that. Yeah. Cause um when I was riding away eleven, um I had to wait for like probably fifteen minutes for a one eleven C, and there was a bunch of riders want to get on the bus because um yeah, but the one eleven you gotta understand a lot of the one elevens are people that don't have cars. Yeah. So that's all we do. It would usually show up like every like five minutes, but yeah. we had to wait for like fifteen minutes for the bus. Oh really? They all they showing the trips? Yeah. On the one eleven? Yeah. Oh, wow. They're increasing their trips, but I don't think it's uh, telling the truth to uh, the rider because there's not enough buses just riding on the way 11. Because, um, I don't know what it is. Uh, the way 11 during the mornings, they always get what real fast. That's cheap. The 75? A dollar 75 to ride a bus. That's it. That's not. You know how much I used to pay to like take the bus when I lived out in, in Lawrence? How I much? Three dollars. Three dollars. Mm -hmm. I know. And this, for 175, this bus takes you like from here all the way to Lexington. Yeah. If you had a car, like hey, I have my car. I pay $454 a month. And my insurance is cheap because I live in McDougal, but most people pay $200 for a car insurance. Oh, wow. So imagine you you have to pay six hundred and pay six hundred and fifty four dollars a month compared wow. to dollar seventy five. Oh, oh wow. So it's like you know people complain too much. Yeah. I mean that's they're giving you they're providing your transportation in the city of Boston. What else do you want more? You know? Yeah. This is pretty much free. Like riding a bus is like a dollar seventy five is. Is a joke? Yeah. Network drive. That's why if they do privatize the company, they're gonna 
money if you're running a business. How do you make money charging a dollar seventy five? You know? Yeah. This is more for the people. The buses, the MBTAs, all this is stuff for the three fifty. People don't people don't understand that. They're always complaining. Yeah. A dollar seventy five? Tell me to drive you from Lexington with my car, I'll kick you off my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I always buy like the pass for like a day. No, but don't you get it from school? Huh? No, don't I just I just use a regular one. You get it, you get it, you only pay 85 cents, don't you? Yeah, but I don't think it's worth it to be honest. Huh? I don't think it's worth it to be honest. What, 85 cents? Yeah, oh, whoa, is that animal? That's a dead squirrel. Because my friend from school, he actually wanted us to do a Charlie car, but... Cut the video now? Huh? Cut the video? Oh, to North Burlington. Oh, okay, so I'll take you, uh, I'll let you off over here. Okay. Because I usually go straight. Uh, I don't have any passengers. Right to third, but... This one makes you take a right, make a left, go all the way around the road, come back yeah. this way, take a right. Yeah. And if you have no passengers, there's no, no reason to do it. Oh, there was a second one. Huh? There was a second one. The second 351. Yeah, there's two of us from. 3117. One completed with a nice operator. Okay, I did not expect the operator to be very nice. Um, I'm proud. I actually got to film the 351 in the front. I would never expect to actually film the 351 in the front. I thought I was just going to film in the back, but nope. He was very nice. So now we're gonna continue part two of Burlington and the bus should be arriving. And this one is on 3151. And hopefully we'll be there in time to catch the 354. Yes, I'm riding 354 once again. Ay, ay, ay. So as you can see, it says inbound PM server will be rerouted. Afternoon inbound service will be rerouted by 2nd Avenue. It will no longer serve the service at 32 Avenue or 23 4 Avenue. It says serving the public to 32 2nd Avenue and 2nd Avenue and South Avenue. So that's the old route. And then you have the new route right there. And then you got these. So remember, this is the last stop. And this is not the stop to pick up for the 351. This is only for the 350. And uh, yeah. I just I just been sitting here for more than like in twenty minutes. Um, the bus has not showing up yet. I don't know when it's gonna show up. Hopefully they'll show up soon. If not, then 
I'm gonna be completely sad. 350 to AOI, and actually have lights. Those are lights. I thought that was like a, like a CT tape or something. I don't know. I like tape, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about at this point.